Hello, my name is Patrick Dowden. I'm with Automation Southwest. Uh, what we're going to demonstrate today is a machine vision application we put together for Swiss American. Uh, they're a contract packaging company out of Carrollton, Texas. We're working with Himalaya Gunasikaran, the operations manager of the plant. What we're going to demonstrate is the DataLogic PPT Vision Impact Software. Uh, this is what's used in machine vision applications. Uh, in this case, what's on the screen right now is the Vision Program Manager half of the software. Uh, the software itself has two halves. VPM is the Vision Program Manager. And let me take this out of run mode. VPM, again, is the Vision Program Manager. Uh, it contains the tools that the uh, engineering or technical people would use to solve the machine vision application. Uh, and the other half of the software is called CPM, Control Panel Manager, and that's what's used to build the operator interface. Uh, th those are optional, but it's a very, very powerful tool that's included in the software for free. Uh, the images on the screen uh, are of a, uh, a personal care product, uh, skin care, I believe it is. Uh, from a manufacturer called Jack Black. Um, what's going on here is as each image clicks by, and I just collected these uh, using a DataLogic A20 series camera uh, and pulled them into the emulator. Uh, as the images click through, what we'll be able to, to see is that the logo in a lot of these is not very properly centered. Uh, we'll see examples where it's pretty far to the left or pretty far to the right. And the purpose of the application is to be able to verify each product uh, and do a pass-fail of whether or not the logo is centered or too far left or right. Uh, in terms of solving the app, it was actually really easy. Uh, the structure of the VPM software uh, allows you to build a program using the graphical interface, and, and that's really done by just dragging and dropping tools from, from one side over to the other. In this case, uh, we started with a pinpoint pattern find. That's what we uh, centered our other tools on was the appearance of that logo. Uh, then we did a line find on the left side, and then we just did a measurement between the middle of the logo and the line on the left. Uh, if that line was too long, we're pushed too far to the right and we'll fail. If the line is too short, we push too far to the left and we'll fail. Um, the pass fail tool here takes the results of the three tools ahead of it. Now we have a few other tools down here that are mostly under the fail and there's a little bit of basic code that I wrote. Those are really just for the control panel manager. Uh, I was playing around with it and trying to get a, a few very nice looking uh, cosmetic parts of it, but I'll, I'll get to demonstrating that in a minute. Uh, so going through this application, again, it's a drag and drop interface. Uh, kind of the heart of it is this point to line measurement tool. Uh, within this tool, there's a band called tolerance. This is really where we do the meat of the inspection. We set a value. I used a set of calipers to, to determine on these products, it should be a little over one inch. I came up with 1.05 inches from the logo to the edge of the product. Um, when we have that centered and we click from one to the next, you see it tracks within the field of view. Um, we're able to set a tolerance of, in this case, 0 0.0625, so it's a sixteenth of an inch minus and a sixteenth of an inch plus, left or right, of that nominal value, 1.05. So let's put this in uh, a run mode, put it in online, and what's going to happen here is it's going to click through the images that I've stored. I think I have like 14 images stored. Uh, most of them are failed images uh, that we'll uh, demonstrate now in the Control Panel Manager. Let me switch over to that. Now, the Control Panel Manager is very similar in structure, in, in structure to the VPM. Uh, and what's very interesting here is that in this column, this is the VPM program. This is the actual Vision Program Manager code or uh, uh, drag and drop tools that are over in the VPM. We use these tools to build the graphical interface. So for instance, image and task, I open that up and I can drag this image over to here and create this larger image and then apply the tools to it. Uh, for instance, pass fail, I can expand this, expand again, and under pass, drag this over and create for myself a little graphical uh, light 
this is how I created this one. I just resized it. So I'll just get rid of that new one. So let's put this guy online and uh, we'll demonstrate what we have here. Uh, as we go from image to image, you're going to see most of them are failed because most of the samples that I received uh, for testing purposes were not uh, uh, very well centered. Um, the, the, the purpose of the application here, we're, we're doing a measurement and the result of the measurement is displayed here in this black box. And then we have a minimum allowed distance and a maximum allowed distance. So as long as this value is between the 0.9875 and the 0.1125, we'll pass. If it's too far to the left or too far to the right, you'll get the indicator up here. It's either pass centered, fail too far left, or fail too far right. Uh, the way you adjust this is with this tool. In this case, what I'll do is I'll highlight the minus left and bring it down a little bit. So I'm tightening up that that value. So now it's 0.05. And if I tighten this way up, pretty much every image will fail if I'm if I'm not too careful. Um, the other way I can do it is just come in here and type if that's preferable. Now the counts here are just statistics that are being kept. I can reset those whenever I want to. And down here is a little bit of an image buffer. Uh, this is really, again, cosmetic for our purposes here. I'm just trying to just uh, show off a few of the elements of the software that are built in. Uh, as we click through, you'll see as one image fails, it'll populate the first one. And then when the next one fails, it'll push them over, push them over, push them over. It's a first in, first out uh, kind of logic. Uh, so in summary, this is a very straightforward uh, and successful machine vision application. Uh, I would say um, uh, in terms of uh, repeatability, uh, it's again a Datalogic A20 series camera. We had a, uh, an eight millimeter lens approximately four or five inches away uh, and ambient lighting. Uh, just an absolutely uh, quick and easy application. Uh, so again, my name is Patrick Dowden. I'm with Automation Southwest. Um, we are available if you have any questions on this, on this technology. Uh, we'll be happy to help out. Uh, you can reach us uh, via our website, uh, automationsouthwest.com, uh, or uh, call us at our office, 214-901-7677. Uh, thank you very much for your time.